are, 30 Barrel Brew House, Orlando, Florida, here at Brew Theory. This is the whole start of the process here. Shipyard Brewing Company has partnered with Brew Theory this past year, forming a unique beer brewing and distribution facility. The 12,000 square foot facility produces 23,000 barrels annually of Shipyard and Sea Dog brews. Kettle's live right now. Get a non steamy shot of that. This is row of fermenters where the beer becomes beer. I got an up close okay. and personal tour of Brew Theory from its chief manufacturing officer, Bobby Baker. Centrifuge filtration. All a centrifuge is is a giant bowl that goes real fast to separate all particles to the sides of the wall. That's it. Makes beer clear. And then we're actually doing a canning run right now. New product coming out called the Big Peach. Everybody grab a case. <laughs> sea Dog and Shipyard in Florida is now being all produced out of this facility. So we combined all of our brewing efforts um, with this facility and a few other brands to start producing beer efficiently and affordable to all of our customers. Brew Theory offers end-to-end -end contact brewing with packaging and distribution services and features a brewery, tap room, podcast space, and beer lab where guests can experience the science of beer. We ended up partnering with Fred Shipyard and Brew Theory to be a co-packer on bringing the brand and, and brewing down in the southern region of the country simply because of shipping, production costs, and all those things wrapped up into one. From there, we repurposed and upcycled Fred's system from up in Shipyard Portland, and we brought it down to Stanford, and that's gonna be our new production facility that's gonna take up all the excess space here and put it up there with all the contracts for all your shipyard, sea dog, sunfish, all those combined. I'm hanging out here with Nikki, a partner at Florida Craft, and she's going to tell me a little bit about a buzzword that I've been hearing all week, RTD. I need to know what an RTD is. Okay, so it stands for ready to drink. It's drinks that are already pre-packaged in a can that you don't have to mix anything, but they taste like a mixed drink. There are several that are um, uh, liquor-based, there are malt-based, and then there's wine-based. The Wine Water Series is one of our very favorites. We have the kombucha cocktails, which actually have kombucha in them, which is amazing, healthy for you. And then we have the Nantucket cocktails, which there's two flavors. There's blueberry and cranberry. And then we have so many other great ones coming out. In addition, the Sarasota, Florida-based J-Dubs Brewing Company has moved production of its core beers to Brew Theory and opened J-Dubs Dub Shack at Brew Theory's Tap Room. They serve delicious J-Dubs brews and food from Grilled Cheese's Sandwich Shop. I'm hanging out here with Trod, who owns a tasting room over in Apopka. Can you tell me a little bit about the location that you have? Yeah, it's uh, Three Odd Guys Brewing, uh, new craft brewery over in uh, Apopka. Then, and I can tell you, it's, it's fascinating because we're Apopka's very first uh, brewery, and, and everyone has enjoyed it so far. That's awesome. So what products do you guys serve at your place that are made here? Uh, right now, we've been uh, working with our Brew Theory to, uh, you know, help us kind of really dial in on our, uh, what we call the Midnight Bike Ride, which is our double IPA, uh, as well as our, you know, what we call the Fence Check Brown Ale. Uh, so they've, they've been seriously uh, helping us really dial that in and, and, and give great beer to a popper. Still hanging out here at Brew Theory, we heard a lot of talk about this new beer that they are releasing called the Big Peach. So I figured, who other than the beer connoisseur that I am would be better to try it. So I'm even gonna crack it open for you. Got some beer ASMR cracking open, and I'm gonna do a one sip review because that's just what we do around here. Okay, so when you think about flavored things, you don't expect to really be overwhelmed by that flavor. You know, when you drink any sort of seltzer or something like that, it's usually something that's like hinted in the background, but you taste so much peach in this, it almost tastes like a seltzer, but it's a beer. Can you believe that? Peach, big peach, so good, big peach flavor, big fan. Might even have a second one. 